Hello and welcome to a new tutorial in, on how to print nice piece of art. And because I'm already doing this the first time for myself, the second time with bugs, the third time with forgetting to record, and now the fourth time until we are not getting harder, I continue, but I think I won't stand the fifth time. <laughs> so let's begin. How to print such nice pixel arts? For such pixel arts, we need the mod Open Computers, which is actually part in the mod packs like Rectech New Horizons. Rectech New Horizons is a hardcore mod pack, so if you're younger than 12, on not liking hard crafting recipes, don't touch it. It's nothing for you. But however, you can still print those pixel arts you must need the open computers mod with its 3D printer. The first thing we need to do is to install the printer program. So we are deleting it. And now we are creating it again. The third or yeah. So we are copying all this with Ctrl and C and inserting it when we open it with the insert K. Interestingly, Ctrl and U doesn't work. So and save and Ctrl and save and Ctrl and W to leave this and the program is installed on your computer. It's 943 bytes in length, so don't worry. Now to the next part. We have to create some image. I, uh, yeah, let's do her again. Because there are some problems. The first thing you might notice is that it has actually a pretty good resolution, while this one looks crappy from being near. But that is because the maximum resolution for those 3D prints is 16 by 16 by 16 pixels per block. So we have to scale it down. Let's do this. So we can choose some factor. In this case, wow. Ah, I remember right. The, it was just this. For yourself, you can just yeah, choose some factor and divide by that or multiply. And then you scale it down. Now it looks nearly as crappy as this, but still has some flurry areas. We don't need moving anymore. And the printer don't is not able to print such areas, so we have to move, remove them in some nice way. But first we we'll sharpen the image a little. Or first Make the image a little smaller. Then sharpen it. In the filters, enhance and sharpen menu. In this case, 50 is good. Yeah, looks good. This sharpening actually makes the image better looking from a distance from about 7 blocks. For the near part, it's not good, but for Distances like this, it's really, really improving the quality of the print. Now we have to remove the blurry edges from her. So we go to Colors, Levels, Alpha, and choose some value like this. Yeah, that looks good. Just make it a straight one. So we're printing. Not all parts. Maybe set it like that and remove those hair starts by hand. 
I'll remove this and this, and it's looking okay again. Yeah. Now the image itself is finished and we can export it. We have to export it to a special destination and it is your desktop. And we have to name it to print.png because the program we are using to convert it to a con to format this computer program we just is it yeah installed and I understand yeah this program we are using has to use this destination because I was too lazy to create a file chooser. But never mind you to save it anywhere anywhere and yeah yeah. Just save it there and it will find it. Yeah, we want to replace Megumin by this girl. Now we've saved it to the desktop and can run the printer.exe. Don't run access by people you don't trust. So, yeah. <laughs> Normally you shouldn't run this exe from myself even. But you can could compile it yourself, but if you're too lazy, just use mine. And this program copied the image like this. Actually, this one to the how is it named in English? To the clipboard, yeah. And now we can compile and edit a new file. Name it maybe girl. And insert with the insert K or the code in. That takes a digital because I was too lazy for yeah, base 64 or base 93. And it doesn't matter for this image sizes. It's still very small. Now we can run the program by typing in printer as we named the program file. Then girl. Give it some um, plot name. Maybe some two tip text. And print it. And uh, while I'm printing this, I show what's the two tip text and the plot name. The two tip text is the spice in this case, and the plot name is the Q bottle. We are just adding this to our computer. And here are our parts. So let's print it. And yeah, always be fast with taking them out because otherwise you have to push it. That's bad. <laughs> I might put it into the case of the thing. <laughs> it has to happen sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, it is there. So this part is not This part is there. Complaining now, just confused. If I set this on top, I 
That looks good. Yeah. And the some good results. Delete all this, and I hope I've deleted no part I'm needing. So get all these tiles. Add them. Um, Ah, now it's working fluently. And here you go. Here's the girl I just created in a very short amount of time from this image file and from some blocks distance. It looks pretty good. Of course, you can invest more time into those and they are looking even better. Maybe mean, for example, just look great by instant. Yeah, have fun with creating nice pixel arts into your house. But maybe don't use too many because they might cause lag because of the many, many details. I don't know how well optimized this is in computers. Yeah, have fun. And goodbye. If you have rabbits, like I had some. The first trouble thing you can come over is the memory for your computer. You need at least one memory tier 1.5 because the printer is taking really much. And if you have any other problem, just write me in Skype or YouTube or Google Plus or whatever, you'll find me. Just type my name and and you'll be blown away. Search results. Goodbye.